On December the 15th, 1961, the Grand Circus Notre Americano made its debut in the city of Niteroi, Brazil. The circus arrived in Niteroi a week before their premiere and set up shop in the center of the city which created a buzz of excitement with the children of Brazil, for a good reason. The Grand Circus was billed as Latin America's most comprehensive circus, with 60 performers, 20 staff members and 150 trained animals. It was just over a week from Christmas and the children of Niteroi had just begun their summer holidays. There wasn't one child in the city who didn't want to go to the circus and on the 17th of December they completely sold out and managed to fill their tent to max capacity, which was approximately 3,000 people. The show was running smooth and going according to plan when disaster struck. 20 minutes before the show was due to end, trapeze artist Antoinette Estranovich was the first to notice the fire from her elevated perch. She claimed that when she first saw the fire, she didn't yell as her partner was still swinging through the air and didn't want to cause him to fall. It was moments later, others started to notice it too. In just five minutes, the whole tent went up in flames, which began to melt the tent, which fell on terrified spectators. When the crowd realized there was a fire, chaos ensued, and the fear-crazed members of the audience began to make their way to the exit, causing many of them to be trampled. Others were trapped in their seats or burnt alive in minutes. The fire initially left 372 people dead, most of them children. The total number ended up reaching around 500 as people succumbed to their injuries later on. At least 800 more people were injured from burns, smoke inhalation and the trampling. One of the police present at the event said I've seen some horrible things but I never thought I would see anything so horrible. Trucks transferred bodies to the city morgue, which quickly filled up, resulting in the rest of the bodies being taken to a football field. All of the circus animals and circus workers miraculously survived. In the aftermath, the circus owner said the tent burned down in 30 seconds. He was convinced the fire was set deliberately, as a short circuit or a discarded cigarette could not have caused such a quick spreading fire. The cause of the fire was never established conclusively but it may have been caused by sparks from a nearby train. Many believe the cause was covered up. According to the Wikipedia page, an investigation was launched which resulted in the arrest of three men, but I couldn't find a relevant source to back this up, so take it with a grain of salt. This fire remains the worst circus disaster in history.